What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Five Four Tactical. Uh, I haven't really been posting that lately because of the simple fact we are going through Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida hit uh, a week ago at a category of four, and like my city is messed up. So you know. Until everything get back right, you know, y'all just bear with me. You know, um, we made our okay. The um, house made our okay. Uh, we just got lights today at the shop. And um, that has been a real nerve-wracking experience in its in itself. Um, so, I have to put, you know, I have to kind of put... Um, uh, videos and, and you know building building um uh, my guns kind of to the side just a little bit but i'll still be doing videos but um you know just until everything get back on track because financially it it, it broke a lot of people in in the city and and then even the aftermath is even crazier because you got we had people killing each killing each other over gas we got people breaking into other businesses uh, and this was you know and this is the time where you know business owners and homeowners are using their gun right their second amendments so um, I feel for them well I feel for them with what they going through in these situation but by all means you must protect your business right so um, like I said, currently our house don't have lights. I'm actually um in in BR with it, so you know at my wife uh David's sister house, you know she opened up, opened up, you know, opened up her home to us until everything blows over, until we get lights. Um, we when it happened, we we evacuated to Dallas. Me, my wife, the kids, uh, her middle, well, uh, did you call it the middle sister? Because she's like the second oldest. Then her little sister after her, and the baby sister. So, in, in that order, we all went to Dallas and I'm going to got rooms for like I want to see three, four days or something like that, and we hated it. We hated it. We hated it. It was to uh, you know funds, funds, funds were straight, but you know it, it still put a nut, you know, a little hole in it, you know. So that's why I say it'll be a little minute before I, I fully start back coming back with the own um, videos, but. Before the hurricane came, I got some some stuff for the P365 XL. Let me clear it. It's clear. So you know, and I didn't get to do a video on that because of Ida. So now I'm doing it. I'm actually in uh, I'm letting a few uh walk-in closet with it. You know, so I won't wake up nobody or anything like that because everybody sleep. And um, I hate hurricane season. I I, I can't even lie. To you. I hate hurricane season. This is like my first major hurricane as an adult. So it was like it's like hella frustrating. Like last year, hurricane season was like it was like eh. Just lights out, not, nothing, nothing happened. Just a couple of winds, stuff like that. But this hurricane messed us up, so we don't need no more hurricanes coming after Ida. Which do you suppose I have? Uh, you know, uh, a storm coming through in like two, two or three days or whatever. They don't know if it's gonna be our another hurricane like a caravan one or whatever like that but we don't need no more because 
I had to mess this up so bad that, like, when we went home, it, um, she, she broke damn near every light pole on the block in our street. So, um, we went back to day and, you know, they, they replaced, well, some of them, but, like, it got so bad to the point where it knocked the whole energy tower in the ocean so like I said <clears throat> not gonna prolong with that but like I said I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna be doing videos on the regular because of that well at least till everything is semi back to normal and you know everything you know clients and, and everybody come back in town and you know we, we back on and pop again so want to address today is more parts we got more parts for the uh 365 we got the zev um the zev uh love it sight sights the matching sights to the actual um actual slide and we have new we have the comp and we have the barrel so without further ado let's uh let's dig into it so like i said last video i showed you was the slide itself i don't remember if i had got the sights at the time but got the slide itself and now we have the slide and the easy C arms comp which makes it a hell of a lot longer I haven't haven't shot it haven't tested it none of that not even on the original barrel like as you can see that's how much longer it, it really is it's like almost almost like two inches longer that's a long be a long gun but you got the uh zp zp um fluted fluted barrel which is is coming along pretty good now um like i said until we come back home and everything like that, I'm not gonna be able to order anything else. Like the bill gonna be on standby, but as you can see, you know you got the slats, but only there's only two holes. Now you can go and um, you know people that think about getting this, you can go and um, get. The rest of the uh, slots milled, milled out. So what this compensator is going to do is going to push all the gases upwards. So it forces the the muzzle down. So as you shoot, so I guess let me see how I can do this. So as you shoot, you don't go bang. So instead of it doing this like that, it's going to go bang like it's gonna go bang but it's gonna force it back down so what's left on the slide is the red dot in the slide assembly itself um i was gonna transfer the slide assembly from this over this but like i said um I might, I might still carry, well, I'm going to still carry this gun, so this slide is going to be for carry, you know, when I, when I carry. Um, I just started uh, carrying carrying the, the Canon TP9 SF um, like a month ago, I want to say a month ago, and, um, you know, it, it is, it's pretty good. Um, I just started carrying it. And it is 
new experience. So what I said, but what I mean by that is by this gun it is being like the gun is not stupid small, like tiny small, but it's not big, but well, it's not long at all. So pretty much I'm pretty much carrying a gun about this size. Like minus 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 an inch. So probably like an inch more, inch and a half longer than what I'm used to carrying with this. So carrying an appendix it's how can I say it's um it's tolerable but it's not comfortable. It is it's tolerable enough to carry in the appendix, but like sitting down or bending over like to grab something, it it kinda kinda hurts. So, you know, I'll be back and forth carrying this or carrying the TP9, like I said in my gun collection video, I, t I said I was gonna try to, you know, trade it, trade that and some money for the smaller, like the TP9 Elite that's around this size. So it'll be a little bit more comfortable. Plus I have, you know, red, uh, it'd be optic ready, compensated ready. Uh, it has, yeah, I already have an aftermarket barrel, so it's just less stuff I have to do in a nutshell. So, so far, left, what's left on getting, we have to get on this, is the Holosun, the Holosun 407K. Um, have to get that, and have to get... The light running, we we'll running a TLR7 sub because I, I actually like how it looked. But I'm also debating on double backing and just running the TRL6 because they actually make holsters, holsters for it. So, like with a carry gun, uh, I think just having a red dot. And a nice little light and call it a day well you know in plus three plus four base plate and you set you don't really need a compensator but I did found the uh, PPM or PMM or is it P no it's PPM PPM uh, micro compensator so it's like this much smaller but I don't have to constantly get it so I have to hope and pray it still be there by the time I do get the funds to, and uh the funds to get it and if I and if you know push come to shove and I get it I'll run that comp with this barrel because it's only like like that much like that much bigger like it's literally like this much bigger so it ain't gonna really make a make a difference plus I can still carry it on um yeah, man, that's gonna be about it. Um, I'm gonna do um, instead of the stippling, because I do want to kind of stay on budget due to the fact that what happened, you know, in 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 my case, what what happened with the storm and everything. Instead of doing the stipple job, I'm just gonna do the the tallying grips. I'm do the black. Um, I don't know if I want to do the rubber grip or the sand like the sand grip because I ran talon grips on my my G2C and it phenomenal grips grip was was pretty good and grip was pretty good um one thing I didn't like was I by had by me having a flat dark earth it got dirty fast and I always straight scrubbing it and cleaning it, it kind of wore it off. So this time, I'm gonna do black. Um, so I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it on and, you know, cut it and customize it how I want. And that way I have a little bit more grip. Cause the grip is grippy, it's grippy, but it's like, like 
right here, and like right here, it's like slip, slip tolerant. It's like very slip tolerant. And, um, like I said, I got the matching Zelf. This is the the matching uh, sites to go to slide. You know, when you buy the Z three sixty five L uh, XL. This was this will be on it, and um, I was looking online today, and I kind of got mad at myself because I, sh I I felt like I should have waited, but how certain stuff is selling like hotcakes, I went on and grabbed this one, and I thought Zav only made this one in this color, but looking online, they actually make it. In this color too, blew me. Like it blew me to the max. So um, I'm still thug it out with this one. But if it's if it become available again, which I know it's gonna be a while before it come available, and like I'm the type of person once I finish a build, I'm, I'm done with it. Like that's why I'm running, unless it's something that's really, really, really eye catching that. I'd be like, all right, it's worth, it's worth, um, it's worth switching out. So that that's probably gonna be the one thing that's gonna be worth switching out is the one with the flat dark earth. And then again, I probably will. so um, it all depends on what's what's going on, how everything looking, and uh oh. Thanks for the, you know, the, the little subscriber I have gotten in the last few weeks since I started YouTube. Um, I'm up to 60 followers. Let's try to get it to like, you know, like 100, 150 followers. You know, you know, uh, you know, support your boy, support your boy. My um, but I will try to do more range footage, and um, I also have an idea of doing a video on guns that I I had and I had and you know sold and um I had and I was like uh I could do without it you know I wanna got it you know I wanna got it because I it was available and it was cheap so you know and that's what made me really start this start this channel because I'm I'm no longer trying to get guns because I see it and it's cheap. I actually was getting what I want. I actually want to you know start getting what I want. So <clears throat> right now once everything get back on track, you know, everything is caught up, bills caught up and things of that nature. I'm I'm going on a hunt. I got I, I wrote out a whole list of the guns that I'm gonna be on the, on the lookout for, and just to name a few, I did say I'm I'm going to get the uh, Shadow Systems. Uh, oh, dang, it's, it's a Glock variant. I can't remember the the rest of it, but it's the Shadow Systems. It come with the threaded barrel, the RMR cut, the. Uh, the mill mill slide cuts and everything all the good jazz that you want in a Glock build but it's already there and it's better than the Glock um be looking for the HKVP9 tactical 509 tactical the FNM 509 tactical um and a few other guns I'm not about to wreck my brain trying to figure it out um so let's let's crack open these, you know. And um, like I said, the slide uh, the slide part is damn nearly done. All I need is the slide assembly for it to go bang, and the 407k hollow sun, you know. And I was I was gonna go with the 507k. Uh, I don't know, man. I just don't know. 
but like I said, it's come in and you just just slide it with a uh, what's my jig with a uh, sight with a sight tool. But look at that fiber optic front sight. We come with the fiber optic front sight, and like I said, um. With this particular, these particular red dots, the micro red dots, I don't need suppressor high sights because the the um, the micro is pretty low, so yeah, yeah, cool witness as you can see. Uh, it it already the stock, you know, the stock stock 365 is already like that, so I know with the Zev it, it's gonna be the same thing. The Zev is gonna be the same thing. So, just the back sight is uh, it's pretty high, you know. The, the the blacked out back, and it has the Zev, the Zev um logo on it, which is pretty cool. I showed y'all how it look with I showed y'all how to how to slide look with it on on the gun. Now I'm gonna show y'all how it look with the composite on the gun. So like I said, the gun's gonna be longer. Oh and I need the DPM uh recoil springs. Re recoil spring set. This this is literally gonna be like on the budget bill, like how we like um, doing the budget bill. I'm literally doing the budget bill with this one. So that's how I look. You know, out of bad, out of battery. You feel me? Um, and that's how. It, oh, oh, god damn! Sorry, it's, it's front heavy. It is front heavy, I will tell you that. It, it is front heavy. So when I get the talent grips, I'm just gonna get like some some real rough uh, grip tape and I'm just grip, put like a little black grip tape on it right here, you know. And that's, that's I'm gonna call that a D. Call it a D. Say put the, uh, TLR 7 sub light talent grip 507 407k red dot put the sights on it and uh you know she gonna be it's gonna be a wrap for this one oh yeah it's gonna be a wrap for that one so online so online how 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 it is how the talent grip is it's gonna be oh excuse me it's gonna be like from here all the way covering up to the mat well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do it like as if it was a step in. so this part I'm gonna cut out this part leave that flat dark earth and leave the magwell part flat dark earth and everything else is going to be like you know the talent grip so that boy good though I ain't gonna lie that, that boy nice I haven't seen one on YouTube look like this one yet the flat dark earth grip module The agency arm. I seen the agent. I seen the Sig guy got got the agency arm uh, compensator, but 
you don't have to dissolve uh slide nothing like that it's pretty much just seracoated with the comp and the uh base plate with, with a red dot that's pretty much it but like far as like build I think I'm well no well yeah I might be the only one that like really aesthetically really really like do something with the 365 XL it's a gain of aftermarket parts for the regular P365 P365 but not the XL so you know it, it, it looks pretty good it's, it's coming out pretty good this is a color a, a unique color 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 combo you know it's really unique you know, um and I can't wait like now it looked like a 1911 like almost just without the, the I have 1911 like maybe the 1911 hand, uh striker fire I think it, it'll look like something like this like it, it just screams 1911 to me I don't know why but it does So, it's a function. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to put the first shots in it. And, and, and I had to clear it. I made it a little oopsie. But, um, just to see it. Well, really, I just did it just to see if it uh, catching the, uh, going to battery. But it did. And it ejected out of the battery, so man, I'm looking at this, bro. It's just gonna be nice. I ain't gonna lie. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be nice. But that was all I wanted to do. Um, wanted to show y'all real quick. You know, the updates on the P365 and um. You know the updates on what's been going on, and I think you... well, uh, my bad, my bad. I know you was in. I thought you was in bed. Yeah, that's uh nephew. My he bad. rude. You waited all this time to take a bath. All the way for Kevin. He, he probably stroking his chicken. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, that was my nephew, so, um, you know, I just wanted to show y'all what was going on with the, uh, P365 and what's been going on, you know, with me, you know, and why I haven't been posting, but that's why I haven't been posting. I've been cooked up in Baton Rouge due to Ida with my family and my in-laws so you know I, i'm really thinking about doing this uh doing another video on the guns that i i had and like just got rid of because i had no use for it or you know i just bought it because it was cheap so other than that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one deuces